So guys, I did it. I ordered my Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus. And to be honest with you, I ordered it a long time ago, but I'm making this video now because it's looking like I'm right around the corner from actually getting the car. So let me explain my whole process for you guys that have ordered yours. The Tesla Model 3 and Model Y have been exploding with orders. If you order a Tesla today in September of 2021, you won't receive it until next year in either January or February. So it's definitely a long wait. I ordered my Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus on June 3rd and, I, and today is September 12th. So it's been a long time waiting. I decided to go with their Standard Range Plus not because of its affordability, even though that is a huge part of it, but because I think it's perfect for what I'm gonna be using it for, which is not a lot of road trips and a lot of driving around town. Autopilot was a very attractive feature for me personally. I'm sure a lot of you will agree with me or can at least relate with me, but I get a lot of anxiety driving on the highway and the idea of autopilot just sounds so awesome to be able to just put the car in autopilot and it does auto steering maintains the speed limit now I'm not getting the full self-driving package right away I don't really feel that I need this full self-driving package but I kind of want to wait and see if Tesla offers the enhanced autopilot again the rumor has it is that they're going to be offering that soon so that's way cheaper than spending ten thousand dollars or paying two hundred dollars a month on the full self-driving so I'm gonna wait for wait and see if that happens if not then I'll consider full self-driving maybe in a year but yeah this is so exciting for me because guys this is my dream car like I mean I have other dream cars that are way more expensive than a Tesla Model 3, but this is one of my dream cars. Like, this is crazy that I'm about to, <laughs> I'm about to be a Tesla owner. My estimated delivery date as of the recording of this video is anywhere between September 18th and September 30th. So sometime in between then I'll be getting the car. And once I do, I definitely plan on creating a ton of videos. So definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell, that way you're up when I create those videos and also please give this video a thumbs up because that will help the video rank higher in the algorithm I'm gonna show you the exact configuration that I got and kind of a little walkthrough because I assume that some of you that are watching this video have never gone through the Tesla ordering process and maybe are curious of how it works I'm gonna get to screen recording on my iPad and we're gonna jump right in okay guys now I'm recording on my iPad so you should see that on the screen and I am on the Model 3 landing page on Tesla's website. You can just search Tesla and Google or whatever web browser you have and then select the Model 3 if that's what you're specifically trying to look at. Or you can also look at the Model S, the Model X, and the Model Y. But we're in the Model 3 here and I'm just going to select Order Now and that will bring us to the ordering page. So this is where you can uh, configure your Tesla and set it up, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I did. So one thing that I did right off the bat is I set this little thing right here to purchase price, because potential savings is gonna show you after the potential savings. And as you can see here, there's three options. There's the standard range plus, there is the dual motor models, which is the long range and performance. I went with standard range plus. Also, the second cheapest option. So the reason why it looks like it's the first cheapest option is because Tesla actually doesn't list their cheapest Model 3, which is a Model 3 that doesn't come with autopilot. It's pretty basic. Um, it's $35,000 and you have to do a special request if you want it. Now, I don't know why you'd ever want to do that. I don't know you, why you would want to, but hey, I guess some people don't want all of the autopilot technology and advanced features. They don't even list, list it on there, but I did the standard range plus. As you can see, the standard range plus has a 262 mile range. From what I'm seeing, most people with the standard range plus are completely okay with their purchase. And like I said, I don't do a lot of road trips, but when I do, I'm comfortable knowing that Tesla has a huge network of 25,000 superchargers so no worries there top speed 140 miles per hour i don't i don't think i've ever done over 105 miles per hour in any vehicle so that should be plenty for me 
and this is cool, 5.3 seconds to do zero to 60. So it's, it's fast. Like Elon Musk said, Tesla does not make slow cars. And that's for sure because when I test drove the Model 3, just the mixture of autopilot and the responsiveness of the steering and the acceleration, that was what sold me and that's what made me say, okay, I'm placing my order. So if we scroll down, you now have the option of paint. There is white, which is included, black, uh, silver metallic, and blue, all $1,000. And for $2,000, you can get the red multi-coat. But I currently drive a white BMW 535i, and I love the white. I think it looks really nice. So, And I've seen the white Teslas too. The Tesla that I test drove was white. So I really liked it, and I'm okay with what I chose. And new for 2021, Tesla removed the chrome other than in the logo. So the door handles, the trim around the windows, that all used to be chrome. Now it's blacked out, and it looks awesome on the white on black is just so cool. For the wheels, I did the aero wheels. Um, for an extra $1,500, I could have done the sport wheels, but I left the aero wheels because the aero wheels actually provide a little bit better range. Um, Teslas are really heavy because the battery pack is on the bottom. And so the more weight you have on the vehicle, the less range it's gonna have. So with Teslas already being heavy, I don't want to add you know that with the wheels so i just went with these standard aero wheels which come with the car so overall um i've done everything that's been included so far but one more thing the interior you can do black or white interior the white looks really nice but i just stuck with the black um because i like black and it is what it is white would get really dirty you know, it looks really nice but paying an extra thousand dollars for it I felt was unnecessary so I just did black and then like I said earlier in the video I did not do the full self-driving capability because I anticipate that there's going to be um, enhanced autopilot available to purchase at some point again um, and that's pretty much it and as you can see right here if I were to order this Tesla Model 3 today it wouldn't get here until February so I am so happy that I ordered in June because, I mean, it's only going to get worse. People that are ordering in, you know, November, December, they may not get their cars till the summer of 2022. So I'm incredibly happy and um, just super, I feel super blessed that I'm in that opportunity where I can afford this vehicle. And, you know, it's something that I've always wanted. And I, every person I see talking about it says that it has changed their life. But like I said before, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and notification bell. That way you're updated when I create new videos. And also please give this video a thumbs up so that it ranks this video higher in the algorithm. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.